Everything all right there? Ha! <laughs> ah, good. Finally, some life out there. Well, you're not much to look at, but I'll take a chance on you. Uh, say, you seen another kid out there? Who you calling kid? At any race, it's just me and the zombies. Damn. Must have thought I was shooting at her and got spooked. Well, listen, if I get the gate, can you search the front? Y you find that girl, you bring her around back, and we'll straighten this thing out. Just watch out for the other trespassers. They might. <laughs> hey, get out of there, you scourge of a Satan! All right, then. Let's find this, Bjor. Ah, no! Beck, I can't let the old fella die too now, can I? Garçon, direct me to the champagne. Chop, chop. That you, kid? You find that girl? She didn't make it. I'm sorry. Son of a bitch. Well, I say it's about time we send these party crashers back to hell. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, some damn fine work, kid. <laughs> hey, get over here. I need to talk to you. It's a damn shame about that girl, but uh, I'm sure you did what you could. Curtis Sinclair's the name. Did a bit of acting in my time. <laughs> Ask your mother, kid. Pleasure to meet you in these dark times. I thought you were looking familiar. Pleasure's all mine, Mr. Sinclair. Now, let's get you down. Ah, uh, listen, uh, I need help. Uh, years of doing my own stunts means, well, the old hip won't survive this drop. I need to get my chairlift to get down, uh, but the power in the house is gone kaput. Sure. I can lend a hand with that. What's the sitch? Check the connections down at the end of the yard. See if the problem's there. Now, if you can get things running, I can buzz you inside. Godspeed, kid. should sort it. Kid! You did it! Hey, get your keister in here. We're not out of the woods yet. to the wise, kid. If you're gonna fight these things with grenades, don't do it in your own home. <laughs> well, luckily, the lift rail looks sturdy. Power it up, and I'll take my chances. 
Well, either my ears are playing tricks on me or, or trouble's on its way. I'm, I'm gonna need you to clear the runway. Great memories here. A lot of loving. And a lot of fighting. And a hell of a lot of noise complaints from the neighbors. <laughs> and to think I said they wouldn't catch me dead in that chairlift. <laughs> Someone up there must really like me if they sent you to save me, huh? <laughs> Not sure what I did to deserve it, though. <laughs> Just call me your guardian angel. An angel who wouldn't say no to a wee thank you token, mind. Listen, anything in this house you need, it's yours. It's the least I can offer you. We damn sure can't stay here, though. How's it looking out there? Hashed up arseways and back. But there are survivors over at Emma John's place. Well, I'll be damned. The neighbors were here all along. I ought to give him a piece of my mind for not checking in on me. He's dead. Turned zombie on our evac flight. And then they couldn't wait to shoot us out of the sky. Emma's right as rain, though. He's dead? Damn shame. The son of a bitch owed me money. Oh, well. I'll make my way over there after I say my goodbyes to this place. Yeah, you did good today, kid. Thanks again. Don't you want an escort, old fella? I won't be able to sleep at night if you get killed on my watch. Watch your tone, kid. I'm old, not senile. Peggy here will make sure I get there just fine. We'll see. Now get. Okay, Constant. Give it to me. Viracacho. Also, we're a cucho. Catch you a proper now. Theological. The great created deity and the 
pre-Incan mythology of the Andes region of South America. Credited with making the sun, the moon, the stars, mankind, and a previous race of brainless giants that he destroyed in a flood. Also, the god of the sun and of storms. Also, the maker of time. Darling, but how can I be a follower if I don't even know your name? Uh, doy! I'm Amanda Stiles, LA's top trending girl in the juicy flesh. But, oh, fuck! You didn't see my video? Thought I'd upload it for sure this time. Ah, I get ya. You're one of them influencer types. Yep. Catching this shit show on camera. When my videos of flying zombie guts go viral, They'll be racing to send it to Choppers to save our butts from hell, A. Ooh, plan-wise, that's fucking massive. Right? Problem is, it's pretty hard to get good footage while killing corpses. <gasps> oh, shit. Idea. We collaborate. We lure suckers up here. You finish them off Amanda style. And I get crystal clear shots. Little Miss Styles, you had me back there at flying zombie guts. Then let's fucking go! Blast some tunes and knock any loser that shows up off the motherfucking roof! Let them bodies hit the floor! And no swearing in the first minute. I'm already on two strikes. Out of these gobschlings. Jesus, is the no swearing minute up yet? <laughs> Don't worry about your captain, my sweet loyal armada. I've got the safest and best seat in the house.
suggested bids, seen. Yo, we're done. So get that sweet butt over here. Can I call you bestie? I don't want to alarm you, but that was awesome! We are going to be so famous when this goes live. That was fucking deadly. But how about we cork the champers until we're all out of hell A, huh? That's still plan A, but no reason I can't raise my name value, too. Not that either's happening without a stable internet connection. Well, you can go fix that in comfort. Head to Emma John's mansion and tell him Danny sent you. What? Bestie? I know you aren't suggesting we break up the team. We can roam this city, creating beautiful content together. We'll get, like, Nobel Peace Prizes for our life-saving documentaries. I love the moxie. But best you work with what you just got. Can't be famous if the zombies get you first. Huh, okay, I do need to edit this. If we only get one video, it has to pop. But don't go streaming any gold behind my back. Well, hello. I want whatever's in there. And once I've talked the mailman into giving it to me, it will be mine. No sign of the mailman. Still two steps behind the elusive mailman.
compelling arguments for you to give me all your stuff. My first federal offense. No, wait, I tell a lie. There was that thing in Roxbury when I was still fresh off the boat. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up a seat. I want to chat. All right there, old fella. You're making yourself at home, I see. Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. 
Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Why didn't you say it was an emergency? Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out. I could raise everyone's spirits. Ah, that's a shame. I don't know of any kind souls around here. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed undead bastards slither back into their graves. If you're talking about a weapon, then I find that my soul's suddenly feeling very kind and helpful. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. Drinks. Good cup. Here is a fancy establishment. So, I'm after the wine cellar. Not even for coconuts. <laughs> Mr. Sinclair won't be having this. Here we are. Now look at this quality gargle. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cubans. Gave them as a housewarming gift. And I got a hankering. My, you've got a pair as well as a hankering. That wasn't part of the deal, boy. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. Yeah. <laughs> 
innocent whale is just going to have to learn to share. Right then, where will that good stuff be hiding? Empty. They really did drink like a fish. Oh no, this'll never do. locked tight. Now, where's his old doll?
That's all of it. Better dash back before he decides he needs some of his favorite cheese, too. And here you go. The drinks, sir, requested. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Pete. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. Peggy, is it? So nice to see another lady with style around here. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. Well, give us a bell if you ever need us to pop by and shoot some zombies for you. Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister. Betty on my hip. <laughs>
Right. Rav, is it? Where are you keeping yourself? You'd be Rav, then. Yes! So Hannah got at least part of my message. I'm glad you're here. I was only halfway done. You're done now. Come with me and I can get you back to VCLA. It's in the Venice Canals, right? I don't need an escort. I need data. A paramedic friend told me her ambulance got requisitioned to transport barrels here. The soldier said it was stuff to fuck up the zombies. What was it? That's what I need to find out. There were scientists here. I found their workspace, but zombies found me and treated me up like a cat. I need to look at their notes, see if this weapon is something us bobcats can use. Add mine in and I'll help you out. I'll look for that ambulance. And you're wanting a distraction, so the zombies clear out of that workspace you need. Hmm. Ah, I see speakers in here. Music! Loud music! Yes! Okay, uh, I'm good with tech. I'll make this work. Let me know when you're on your way back. Rav, you there? One of the bloody great big caustic puke ball ones is out here by the ambulance. This'll take me another moment. Or three. Got it. I'm in a vent now on my way to the workroom. I powered up the DJ set up by the stage in the ballroom. It's ready when you are. Be right with ya. Caustic puke. It's like they're adapting their weapons to us as well. I give my second best pair. One of them on the dissecting table.
bill of lading for barrels of caustic eggs, scribbled with what the actual fuck in, I assume, your EMT pal's handwriting. It's a solvent. The fuckers fill the pool with it to dissolve infected bodies. That's surprisingly smart, actually. I was experimenting with acid, but it dissolved my weapons. They went alkaline instead. And I bet they used it in a live one. We're go on the DJ set up here. Come drop the beat so I can get at their notes. Then let's invite all the peasants to the ball, shall we? While they're heading to you, I'll get what I can. <sighs> Bang and tune, that is. <laughs> Depends. Does it involve mayhem? Loving the attitude. Baller as hell, no cap. And yes, it does. I need you to use that solvent to kill zombies. You said they filled up the pool? And I'll observe from the top floor. You're watching and taking notes? That's your contribution? It's not science, unless you write it down. Well-known fact. Meh, that's me told. I'll call you when I'm in position. You got a visual on me yet, darling? I am good to go. Begin performing the science! <laughs> you mean, kick some zombies into the pool? If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> You 
are hell on wheels, you know that? Fucking pleasure to watch. I checked back in with Hannah and everything's cool now. Thanks for your help. Ah, you're all right. I had fun. Reminded me of some of the mosh pits I've been in. Now I know it works. It should be simple to causticify a weapon for maximum melting instead of using acid. Until I do, though. Here. To the victor go the toys. Grand. Yeah, I'll happily take that for a test drive. I'll head back to the canals and apply what we found here. We're all in an arms race now, and we have to win it. You know, you're like, you're good at this. You, you're good at, um, apocalypses. This. Stop, stop. You're making me blush. But I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm not. Roxy and me, staying out of trouble is like a full-time job, man. I've only ever been really good at one thing, and pff, I barely even do it anymore. Gods and Whiskey is still something to be proud of. You were the soundtrack of my teenage years. Ouch. A and exactly. Like, what have we done lately? I gotta find that spark again, man. Get back in touch with the gods instead of just the whiskey. Oh, Farouk. Gesundheit. Farouk's our producer. He lives next door down a hill, like, totally obsessive about discographies. Collects every master tape and unreleased track you could imagine, including ours. Some of those had real promise. I wonder if... maybe sample them? Hey, I I'll be right back, man. Tell Roxy not to worry. Right back? You're not thinking of going out there for feckin' master tapes. I know you're not. I'm not? You're not good at apocalypsing, remember? I'll get your tapes. For one thing, being responsible for a new G&W album would mean bragging rights forever. A oh, kick ass! If Farouk's not home, just ask his boyfriend Dave to show you around. Tell him I sent you. If either of them are still there and alive, sure.
Sorry, Dave. You weren't much of a bouncer. I'll just let myself in. are always the hardest ones to get into. Now, let's see if the DJ has these old G&W tracks. <laughs> Master tape number one. Hope I get to listen to some of these last tunes. and excellence is on this one. Proper old-school party track, that is. Oof. Safety in numbers does nothing against just one little zombie nibble. Oh well. Time for a jam. Album of the century. Here we go. Boy, the roving music historian has returned. Oh, hey, I don't remember calling a. Do we have an interview scheduled? An interview? No, you rampant waste of oxygen. I'm back from having, at great personal risk, mind, recovered your stupid master tapes from your stupid producer's undead house party. Farouk's. Oh, man. Dave's gonna be like heartbroken. On which note, I bear startlingly similar news. Oh, sad note, man. Like, ballad-worthy. There was this one track we laid down and... Hey, wait. D did you say master tapes? I was just thinking about getting those back! What an unexpected coincidence. This is fucking awesome, man! I'm gonna listen to them right away. I... Oh, there's some gems on here, you know? Some real gems. I... Uh, I think. Hey, thanks. You're like a guardian angel of rock. I suppose that's something to put on me business cards. On his list, you'll find a word. Sweetest thing. You've ever heard. Take you back. Oh, hey! You got me the tapes, didn't you? I did at that, for me sins. Hey, thanks to you, I'm on my way back up, man. Those samples and old ideas are gonna be part of a new album, man. Big themes, big riffs, sex, death, undeath, badass lyrics. Well, I'm a little out of practice with the lyrics, I'm not gonna lie. No, you? I don't believe a word of this. Screaming fans, screaming guitars. Oh, hey, I gotta go to my place and get Chopper. The Apocalypse needs a soundtrack, man, and Ricky Rex is gonna ride with the horsemen! Metal as fuck. That's the cover of the album right there. You stay, work on the music, and I'll get your chopper for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, killer! 
Because I got this song brewing, and I got to keep hold of it. Oh, you need to find Misha. Chopper's locked away upstairs at my place. Got to be careful. Because this one time when we didn't lock up, when the party finished, the whole upstairs was, like, empty. Totally cleaned out. And so, yeah, Misha, she had the key. Then I'll get it from Misha. But you best go around the back through the kitchen. Oh, and if the band are there and, you know, milking their encore, could you send them up to the big gig in the sky? I'll hand deliver their backstage passes myself, boy. Sebastian. Sebastian, do you copy? Oh, it's no use. That one chopper. Drop it. Drop it. Bad zomp. <laughs> Very on brand for Ricky. <laughs> Smells like authenticity. Wait, no, I mean old beer. <laughs> Locked. Find a Miss Misha Ricky mentioned. Ah, or if I make some noise, she might come to me. Time for a stage dive.
<laughs> you missed your cue, Misha. buckets. Hope there's at least a sex dungeon or something else worth hiding. If I were an idiot drunk rocker, where would I put my axe? <laughs> Typecasting. Chopper. Must admit, she's a sexy lady. I've just killed gods and whiskey. Not really how I was hoping to go down in the history books. Oh, you got Chopper! Kill her! This is it, new dawn. Oh, did you, uh, or, or the band? They had their final dramatic curtain call before it was curtains for them. That's... they would've wanted that. I'm gonna write them a song for the new album. Slam to the Slaughter. A new album, is it? Yeah. Check this out. One man and one woman and her pain-in-the-ass daughter on a quest through the apocalypse to put a band together Playing music so spine-shakingly epic, the zombies' heads literally explode! Love it. Very zeitgeisty. Very now. Do us a favor, though. 
Make Jessie your tour manager. She'll do right by you, and you can trust her to keep you alive. Yeah, yeah, that works. Another new start. Hey, you really helped me out. Oh, I got this big sword I used on the Knights of the Sound Fable tour. You want it? Feckin' legendary. there. You need some assistance? Oh, shit. Is this the wrong channel? Damn it. I'm trying to contact a friend. Well, us live ones should stick together. Bet I can find them. Damn it. Somewhere over here in Mopark Studios. And trust me, you do not want to come here. Oh, darling. By now, I'm used to far worse than Monarch Studios could throw at me. Go on. Let me help. I think you're crazy, but I'll take any help I can get. I'm searching for the gas station set. One with the giant spider. Meet me there. <laughs> Always with the... The zombies are going to know what's hit them, man. And that they're talking to set them up. How's it going? Wait, are, are you? Yes, I am scared. Yes, I am wearing my shoes. I'm gonna get this in a bad time. Put yourself on. I thought you looked familiar, Captain Vixen. <laughs> stupid but also incredibly yeah impressive you're sci-fi royalty you are i don't know whether to curtsy or take a selfie never expected you to actually show up you're really going to help look for sebastian at your service captain give me the details he's a skinny kid no fighter but he's tricky creative how he's made it this far. Problem is, I can't reach him on the radio, and his stupid Dee Dee toy keeps drawing in the zombies. Is that what's making all this beep and racket? 
DD09, Space Fox's nav droid and baby robot merchandise milker. Can't stand the thing. But Sebastian loved it enough that he made a replica for conventions. I have no damn clue how to shut it up. If he doesn't get back and do something about it soon, our safe zone will be overrun. You give me the bag. I'll walk over to Sebastian and get him to wind his noisy neck in. You can clearly take care of yourself. Fine, you take Dee Dee. Start your search in Soundstage 3. I'll keep looking out here in peace. Just don't lose that bag. It's lost enough as it is. All right, Dudu. Keep it down. Yo, Dodo, bad robot. Ah, Beckett. Sebastian. Come along, you great beeping liability. Now you hold your wished. Nothing to say. Hey, can you hear me? There are body statues everywhere. You gotta get out of here. Must be our boy. Why is the 9 acting like this? I can check on it, but not until those body snatches are dealt with. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
we're safe from the body snatchers for now. Bring DD09 over here so we can talk. with the IRL Captain Vixen. So where's Mrs. Shepard? And why do you have my robot? And on that note, why are you here? And also, who even are you? Take a breath, boy. She asked me to find you. So the captain sent you? But I'm fine. I'm just scavenging for tools and parts. Nothing to worry about. Problem is, your little robot won't pipe the feck down. It's attracting every zombie on set. Your captain was surrounded when I got there. Oh, jeez. I really screwed up. This is beyond cringe. My dumb robot nearly got Miss Shepard killed. I can't show my face around her no more. She's she's gonna hate me. Easy now. She was just worried about you. Silent your silly robot and get yourself back over to her, and there'll be no more said about it. You're right. I'll fix DD09 up and return to camp. Uh, please, take something for helping Captain Vixen today. Consider it your spoils of war, and may the star of Volpine guide you. Sarah, your boy Sebastian's right as rain, and he'll be heading back to you soon. Oh, I can't thank you enough for this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to join us behind the big green screen. I'm keeping the area safe. My favorite starship captain. Sure, and I'll help. On my way. Sarah said to meet at stage four.
You still here? Hi there. Unleash the go-go dancers and turn up the music, because the party has arrived! Glad you could make it. Sorry to drag you back here, but I need to call upon your zombie fighting expertise again. Well, it's not go-go dancers, but for you, I can switch to mayhem mode, no bother. I need to retrieve some... contracts. From an office in Soundstage 7. But, uh, <laughs> I know my limits. Could you clear out those God Spider sets for me? Specifically the Ruin set. And there's a real piece of work hiding in the City Street stage. Once he's gone, I can get what I need myself. Why don't I just pick up those contracts for you while I'm there? Thanks, but clearing out the extras is enough. Don't take it personally. I'd tell you, but it's not my secret to share, you know? Big exciting kabooms? Don't mind if I do. Tell the screenwriter he's a hack! to hit the big city. Detective Danny's on the case. Huh. 
Alrighty then. Come on out, Mr. Slicey. No? How about if I make your favorites? Right then. I'll be needing some corpses. Setting out some fodder to bait a stupid slicey zomb who doesn't know what it's about. Creative. You want to stack the deck in your favor? Don't be shy about using the special effects. Those zombies won't know what hit them. Fucking deadly. Supper's ready. Just how you like it. It's all clear, Sarah. Wander along over whenever you're ready. You did my crew a solid today. And me. I've been doing alright fighting these monsters one-on-one, -on -one, but... The new tricks they're pulling out? Well, we may be overstaying our welcome here. I know people, if you're looking for a place to stay. In Bel Air and Beverly Hills. There's literally dozens of you. Ha! <laughs> uh, sorry, but I've got other places in mind. Unfinished business to take care of. Thanks. I can take the rest from here.
skull could write no more. That's what the tabloid said. That's what those new hit me. So this album is for. Dan pranking her? Or is the joke on him?
The key to Obi's boosted heirloom sword. Soon to be my boosted heirloom sword. I was right. It basically matches my top. It would be a crime to leave it here to rust. That's how I dropped out of law school. Sarah Shepard. Gesundheit? One second bud is here, next second no head, so no bud. Man. You boys best get serious, or bud won't be the last of you to lose his head. Oh, we need her guns, a way to like, defend ourselves. But hey, you know, you, you could do us a solid. Oh, can I now? The police station out on the beach. We heard gunshots the other night, so we went to the roof to check it out. Some gnarly Alamo tear shit, man. Cops must have holed up there because they were blasting Z's away, but then, you know, nothing, silence. We tried to radio, see if they could, like, share supplies, but we got dead air, so, you know, they're probably Z's now. I mean, we only tried 911, so maybe... Oi, focus. Yeah? Take a breath. I'm on it. Cool, cool. How did Bot put it again? Giant feckin' roid-soaked monsters everywhere. Yeah, that's why we need guns. Big guns. Huge caliber guns, dude. My folks are fully hate it. Oh, <laughs> 
Walking into a station willingly. A first time for everything. It's a maglock. Got a good feeling about this room. I'll be taking you. the look of the Irish for you. Five finger discount time. Oh, hello. You're just my type, darling. Stick around. Hmm, this should keep the blue crab boys in diamonds and furs.
up? Hope your tickets are in order, because I brought back the whole feckin' gun show. Sweet. Where'd you find it? Use your head. They're from that police station you were on about. Dude, you lifted from a police station? You're crazy, man. I'm crazy. It was your feckin' bright idea to go look in there. I say dumb shit all the time, yo. I, even I don't listen to me. Don't you know that place is haunted by zombies? Ah, stop acting the maggot. You wanted firepower. Now you have it. I'll take my parade at your earliest convenience. Oh, well, thank you very much, Kibutsky. But it's only fair if I trade you for it. So, here. I was on the roof. The zombies are acting real weird around one of the lifeguards. Is that good? Probably just fighting over a seagull's nest. Not like anyone could still be out there by this point, right? Now there's a galloping great gaggle of gobshites. Someone trapped inside. safe now. You all right there? Me? <laughs> I'm doing great. Just great. But are you okay? You can be honest with me. I'm Bert Michaels, the chief lifeguard of this strip. It's kind of my responsibility to keep people like you safe. Heavens. Is that so? Yeah. Though even I got to admit I'm underperforming right now. Sure, it was brave of me to lead the zombies away, but uh... 
It meant I... <clears throat> I lost the group of stragglers I was escorting across the beach out there. You let people out there? And you think they're still alive? Yeah. They gotta be, right? Well, I guess with how wild the beach is now, and without an expert like me with them... No. No, I bought them enough time. No doubt. Oh, I doubt. I'll go and make sure myself. You will? Wow, that's great! That means we can split the search. I, I can stay here, in case they come back, of course, and you can follow their trail. Try to find someone out there. I'm sure some of them ran towards the police station's parking lot. <laughs> Is this the right channel? This is Bert Michaels. If you find anyone, you can radio me on this channel to let me know. Calm yourself, boy. I'm on my way to the station. <clears throat> I'll sort out this crowd first. Cop shop first. No signs of life. No one's there? Oh, but uh, I mean, that's a good thing, yeah? Must mean they made it to the stores like they planned after all. Oh, that's good. Fine. I'll just mosey on over to the stores then. Bert, there's a load of zombies queuing at the Venice kitchen. Might be they smell fresh Survivor on the menu. You found someone? Yes! I do remember them talking about that place. I'm 100% Zombies kicked certain. and booted, according you to You gotta clear Kong. the area and get them out. That's amazing! Don't forget to tell them Bert Michael sent you. Hello, how we all doing? Oh, shite. Hello? Have you found them yet? I should probably talk to them. Make sure we're all cool. Not now, Burst! <laughs> Fresh body in here. Someone's been telling f Right, Burst. Explain yourself. All these people have been dead for days. There's no one alive? No, no, no. I hoped somebody had to have survived. It's only been a few days. Oh. I'm coming straight back. Don't you move an inch. Hey, you're, um, 
coming back, right? As I told you already, so stay put. What? You think I would run? Now? Haha. <laughs> oh, oh, Christ on a biscuit! Ah! Okay, okay, well, well, I can't right now, so please hurry! Talk, you fecker. See if I don't. I'm sorry. For what? For wasting my feckin' time? Or for letting those poor people die? I know! I fucked up! <sighs> Look, Bert. Why don't you just tell me what happened? That group depended on me. I was their hero. When the freaks attacked, it just froze. Hid here. But someone had to have got out alive. Just one person. They just had to. Right? Right? Just you, boy. Look, we're all doing the best we can and should stick to our strengths. You go. Get yourself to the Blue Crab. It's safe. And you'll have time to sort yourself out. Hi. You gotta take your pick of the concert.
the Death Pits. But it would be a solid band name. Off out here. Let's be getting back inside. Quite the fire starter, aren't ya? Only one of my many talents. That acid gunk was a waste of time. Should have burnt them from the get-go. Not to be grim, but there were soldiers in those pits. No, they were enemy combatants. And that's why you can't fight a conventional war. What recent wars can you think of that you'd call conventional? Anyway, this mess is up to the scientists to win. I already got science on my team. And you should leave before you change sides. No way you're not infected. Told you, many talents. Including being immune. Immune? I heard they were looking. You might be more useful than I thought. I'd be even more useful with a brave soldier watching my rear. What do you say, darling? Partners? This horde has to stay contained. I won't be leaving. But here's your paycheck. Why the hell are you back here again? I thought you had a plan to get out of the city. Yeah, sure, and I thought so as well. But my way out double-crossed me. Ugh, sounds like the brass. But that doesn't mean you can stay here. So what the fuck is your plan now? The dick in question isn't clear of Hele yet. His copter landed in Hollywood. Stop wasting time here. You need to be on that copter by the time it hits the sky.
Hello? This is Hannah again. One of the Bobcats. You there? Hannah? Hello, darling. You all right? Brad make it back alive? Perhaps back here, yeah. He's holed up in the garage, producing gross smells with zombie flesh and caustic eggs and, and giggling to himself. <laughs> Sounds about right. You were so helpful with him that I was wondering if you could go find another of my homicidal little ducklings at Monarch Studios. Might be able to make room in my busy schedule. I'll have to cancel my manicure, though. Appreciate it. Bozzy went to Soundstage 5 to raid some sort of cutting-edge pyrotechnic setup that a film student was raving about. Bored the rest of us to tears, but Boz got all psyched up about it. Nothing worse than an amateur enthusiast. Said he was stuck last time he checked in. Sounded kind of embarrassed, which means he's probably in a lot more trouble than he's admitting. I'll take a look. I don't think you need call yourself a stranger with me by this point. Down there, Hannah stands you. Can you clear out these dead heads so we can talk? said to expect you up here how are you and why are you up there now this is where the fx controls are thing is when i climbed up here i didn't notice that i had half a starlet with her teeth sunk into my shin guard she chewed through a bunch of wires trying to get at me before i finished her off i feel like an eating disorder joke would be in poor taste here but i can't help myself the obnoxion here is that I'm trying to reverse engineer the setup they have for these D-Day effects. But they're all tangled. 
and I've already set off one quad on set alarm and a random blast. So now we have unwanted extras pouring in, including a big, gross, postulate fucker. More than you can deal with solo, then. No shade. There are some mortar controls in the Sanger at the top of that hill, I think. Between those and the stuff up here, we can probably make the beach a dangerous place to be for the zombies. But maybe stay up there, because I don't want to trigger something by accident and, like, blow your legs off. Noted. Time for a day at the beach. Wish I'd brought me bucket and spade. I think I hooked up a trigger for some mortars. Either that or smoke. Can you try one of those switches out and see if it worked? Woo! Now we're cooking! Ah, oh, shit! More extras coming! Stay up on that hill! The mortars on my right, on your left, they're ready. You're kicking ass, keep it up. But there's more coming, so watch yourself. Okay, the left mortar's reloaded. Set off the right side mortars at will, Sarge. Danger close mortars, ready when you are. See, we have a growing audience. Let's have some fun!
clothesline of mortars is hooked up. said you were the business and she was right. Stellar fucking work there. <sighs> I certainly got me steps in today. And you bought me enough time to make sense out of this spaghetti wires up here. New toys to play with. New ideas and new know-how. Some of which might apply to you, in fact. I've got an idea for something to gussy up your weapons. Love a little gussy. Much obliged. You all right to get back on your own? Oh, yeah. And the Venice Canals are gonna get a lot more dangerous to deadheads as soon as I'm back there.
Uh, hello. Oh, shit. You friendly? When people are friendly to me, darling. Then I'm friendly too. Name's Ezekiel. People call me Zeke. Hi, Constant. Seeing as we're all stuck out here. Autophagic. Or autophagy. Now. Biological. Self-eating. Devouring. Consuming. Feeding on. From the Greek roots meaning self and devour. Also, autophagia. Noun. Physiology. Controlled digestion of damaged organelles within a cell. Oh, -oh. a safe. Also, just Impulse wait and try. For me to help myself. Where the sufferer is compelled to bite themselves or auto cannibalize. <laughs> Badass. You know who you are. Let me guess. You've mislaid another roommate. It's you! Oh, thank fuck. A and, yeah. Daz hasn't checked in, and, and I'm starting to get super worried. You, uh, up for rescuing another damsel in distress? Have you considered putting bells on their collars, darling? Ah, well. Your boys treated me well so far, so why not? Where should I look for this Desmond of yours? The Reverend Dr. Ms. Desiree likes to play with volatile chemicals and went to raid the CDC's stash on the beach. So I guess I'd start there. Right you are. Talk soon. Toodles. Hello, my little burner chickadee. What do you have for me? mentioned this place. The code to the safe. Well, some of it anyway.
Buried. That's just stupid enough to be very nearly clever. Come on! Sorted. That safe is mine by right of conquest. To the victor go the shiny spoils. I don't want to get her hopes up, but I seen some movement by the pier. Could just be zombies, though. was that? Did a zombie learn to climb, or...? No, oh, that must be Dez. Well, that was easy.
get an audience too. Come here. Hiya, Dez. Well, hi yourself. Uh, who are you? I'm Danny. Hannah gave me a bell. Put out an APB on you. She seemed convinced you'd gotten yourself into trouble. What? Oh, Hannah's such a worry ward. I just got caught up in my experiments. In her defense, I've met your boys Rav and Boz. And I heard something blow up. Yeah, fair. Look, long story short, I looted a grenade launcher, and I think I can make some pretty cool grenades with the stuff around here. I couldn't find a couple things on my shopping list yet, but I've got enough to test the concept. A grenade launcher? <laughs> you. I like you. You know, since you're here, you could join in on the field testing fund by herding zombies into the proving ground. Uh, but like, I haven't got the mix right on some of the chemicals, so not gonna lie, it could be kinda dangerous. Stop, stop. You had me a dangerous prototype grenades. I'll entice them in, and you do the science. Okay, west side, west side! Here we go! massive. I haven't enjoyed myself that much in ages. Now, what was it you were saying earlier about a shopping list? Your original idea? Oh, right. Well, I came here looking for four things, really. I already got a hold of two of them, and you saw the results. Saw, admired, laughed, cried, gave them two thumbs way up. One of the other two is... <sighs> You're gonna think I'm nuts, but... It's like zombie, uh, parts. There's a weird zombie in the main dome, see? And some of them have, like, extra goopal organs in them, and those... I'll be stopping you right there, darling. I'm already well acquainted with the violent properties of zombie goop. You are? Oh my god, we have got to share notes later. Okay, I was also looking for some Mother of Satan. I must have misheard you. Mother of Satan? AKA TATP, triacetone triperoxide. Can you root through the Quartermaster's documents for where it's stored while I keep looking in the main dome? A bigger, better shopping list. Sure, I can go after that. Meet you back in the dome. Interesting. I'll need to clear time in my schedule to process that later. Let's see. Ah, 
There's the naughty little badger. Try us. Mother of Satan in storeroom three. Right, I should get back to Des in the Dome. <laughs> Des in the Dome. Sounds like a cage fight. I put together a few more surprises for them while you were gone. So let's get this shit done. Triassy, trippy, Satan's mask stuff you wanted is in storeroom three. You okay to grab it? Absolutely. Oh, and we should, uh, call in and let Hannah know she can stop hyperventilating into a paper bag or whatever else it is she does for fun. You mean you haven't called her yet? Unreal. Yeah, we should do that. Hannah, you all right, darling? I found your Desi, and she's safe and sound. Hi! Fuck. <sighs> I thought the radio silence meant... Ooh. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna rip a strip off her narrow ass when she gets back. Uh-oh. She's there? She heard that? Good. Fuck. Look, you've done right by me. By all us Bobcats. So, I'm gonna do right by you. I found a code for a locked box or chest somewhere around the Lotusville Mall. No way, Hannah. You're parting ways with the Mystery Apocalypse goodie box? I thought you were planning a whole op around snacking it. Ah, well, you earned it. A couple times over. I think you'll be happy with what you find. I've hijacked a scope to push the info to your phone. Neat trick. I think that's my cue to grab my loot and get back to the canals. Thanks again, though. It's been a fucking gas. Bye, ladies. It's been great crack, but I should wander off as well. Things to do, zombies to splatter, you know girl stuff. Take care of yourselves. We here. Oh my god. I've always wanted to find one of these. Right. 
No buried treasure. Just a food critic needing a rescue. Detective Danny's on the case. Hello? Mr. Food Critic? Anyone here? Duh. Smells like the docks during a delivery driver strike. I can hardly blame him for being driven off by the stench. Right then, must be something around here. Ugh, he's mad as a box of frogs by now, and I'm still two steps behind.
someone's stuffing their gob. Think you've had enough, Petal? Buffet's closing. What was your final verdict, Mr. Critic? Enough to turn your stomach. supposed to be heading to Emma John's place. I know, I know, but I am so happy you're here, Bestie. Because, like, I may have possibly maybe legitimately got stuck up here when a recording went bad, and I may totally, absolutely, urgently need someone like you to help out. Is that so? Who could possibly have predicted that? Yeah, not my finest hour. Was trying to figure out how to get online, and I couldn't resist the bright lights of the pier for a video. But for realsies, how about we save the lectures for after you get my cute little butt off this roof? Ugh, fine. Can't you get down from there? Uh, maybe. But what about zombies? They are way scarier here than the ones in Bel Air. But if you turn on those dodgems, the sound might lure them out of hiding. It might, at that. All right, Miss Wannabe. I'll help you out. Only because you make me laugh, mind. Oh, and you can totally use the bumper car's electricity to fry them zombies. You'll be done in no time.
You're feckin' filming again, aren't you? Hey, uh, give me some credit, bestie. Videos are my literal life, and a true documentarian always has a camera ready. Now zap those suckers! <laughs> the humane thing to do, really. <sighs> Can you all see the horror we're dealing with here? <laughs> Look at them careful! It's wild! That girl would headbutt her way through a brick wall if it were between her and fame. Bestie, don't be mad! Look around! This is perfect! And terrible! Aren't you happy you're saving me from this? <gasps> hey, wouldn't it be cool to decap some heads and pop some brains out here? And I'll film it! It will totally juxtapose with this happy place vibe. I just want to thank Ocean Park for inadvertently sponsoring this video. What an unexpected development. Who could have seen this coming? Fun fact, few more zombies here than I remember. 
But you can handle this, bestie. Don't waste time knocking their gear off. Just yeet these idiots into the ocean. You don't mind if I keep filming this, right? Because I still am. <laughs> Stuck. Yes, maybe, sorta. Okay, so maybe I drag things out a little, with you providing the kind of content that could keep us trending for years. Oh, you wretched little brass. Hey, you did great, and there's no way people will think it's fake now. And in the next video, I promise I'll get your feedback first. Like fake? You won't be making a next video, unless you want a full knuckle supper. Now get your ungrateful arse to the lifeguard tower and stay there! Wow, you're actually mad. Where's your ambition? Look, you're clearly heated, so let's wrap for today. I can probably get out by myself now. But if we're going to beat all those other channels to a Squirm Lifetime Award, bestie, we're gonna need some fucking cojones! Follow through commitment, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Cool. The real hero has arrived. Oh. oh! You look wrecked, boy. You bitten? And don't tell me another fib. No! No! Just took a few knocks. I'll be fine in the morning. For now, though, you gotta get Rita to the lifeguard HQ. She'll be safe there. Pull your socks up. You're coming too. No, thanks. I'm good. I'm kind of busy getting back something I lost out here. You wouldn't get it. Try me. All right, fine. Just don't laugh. It's... it's my torp. It's this rescue buoy I lost. Got caught on some zombie's leg and it's ended up behind the public toilets. Along with my mojo. We've all got our talismans, but don't risk your life for this one. Look, I'll get your float. You just get yourself to the lifeguard headquarters. This is so not cool. Mm. Fine, fine. Whatever ends this embarrassment faster. Natural. Something's off about this. Huh. The stupid thing does actually feel comforting. Now, I think we're done here. Back to the lifeguard HQ with Bert's stupid good luck charm.
you? Thank goodness. Where's Bert? I got his torpedo float thing. You haven't seen him? Oh no. Oh no, no. Take a breath, Bjor. What's wrong? We were on our way when some zombies swarmed us. Bert told me to start running, but when I look back, he was screaming and shouting, leading them away from me, back to the shoreline. Of course he's off trying to be a hero. I should go after him. But you, stay here. Bestie! I'm right behind you. Arrest... Amazing viral content, and you stay feckin' put. Shaper. Burst? Of course it's you. Still no bites. <coughs> but they sure pack a punch, don't they? Calm yourself now. I found your talisman. Hey! <laughs> Look at that! My torp! <laughs> but I don't... But I don't think it's gonna help me now. <laughs> oh, God! Ugh, I shouldn't have left you by yourself. No, no. We're cool. You're what I'm supposed to be. I just... wish I could be. Like I used to be. <laughs> Rita, did it work? Did she get out? She's safe. You didn't need me to fetch your mojo, Bert. It did what needed doing. Ha! <laughs> yeah. It worked this time. You're right. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still a hero. That's... That's really cool. Sorry, uh, I think I need to... 
close my eyes now. Sleep now, boy. You've earned it. Hey, you! Come over here! You need to hear this! You're one of those crazy types who actually enjoys going out there, aren't you? Good. I think I know where we can find a boat. If that's true, I will promote you to new favorite person. I was snooping around here when I came across paperwork of CDC security requesting a boat from the lifeguards. During the outbreak, no less. Seems suspicious. Why did they need their own boat, unless they were up to something? Sure, but why do we care about their questionable life choices? Because I can find no indication that the boat ever left. I feel it in my bones. That boat is still on this beach. And if you follow the paper trail, you can find it! Not to question your bones, but surely someone else has found the thing by now, like. Huh! <laughs> you kids give a far too easily. If there's no boat, there's no boat. But if it's still on this beach, we can get out of Hele. I suppose. I'll take a look, but don't hold your breath. I'll be back if I find anything. Lucky for you, I know where to find the best supplies on the beach. No. Telling where, though? Trade secrets.
better look around, see what I can find. A heist to get something past quarantine. This Cooper's a right chancer. Really? Ah, he traded shifts. Cooper had a CDC friend on the inside. Right, so we got sneaky bastards Cooper and Dr. Huang, and whatever they got up to in the main dome. Not the right boat. That would have been a disappointment. Things in tatters. But, with any luck, Cooper's ill-gotten gains might still be floating around.
Think, Danny, think. Where'd you put the stash, Cooper? You little dry shite. Finally, something for me trouble. Don't mind if I do.
tried your best. Which makes you a disappointment to your man. I found that boat of yours. To everyone's shock, it was a total wreck. Of course. Just the ladies in a long line of disappointment. Oh well, your instincts were spot on. Keep listening to them. Maybe you'll point me at some more loose. True. We all have to keep trying. We could all learn to be a bit more like you. True, true. Tis a lofty goal, but worthwhile. Armada. I think you need more than one boat for that. Not to start with. You build your fleet when more boats follow. There's always a window you can smash. Hello? Anyone there? Help has arrived. 
And it looks fabulous. But Jesus. If this isn't just as hopeful as a wedding in a morgue. Didn't just sit around twiddling their thumbs. Nice one. They weren't ready to give up yet. Fair play. Fick me! <sighs> Nearly had a canary. I hope that's the survivors. I need some sort of a wallet for these. Or a feckin' tote bag. Christ! Hey, all right, this isn't so bad. Yes, I get that a lot. Wait, aren't you herself off the telly? Oh God, you know he gave me a heart attack. You got the message. Nothing gets past you, darling. I saw your boy in the lobby. What's going on? I know. We've been here reporting since it all started. Telling truth to the people. At least until we realized no one was getting our broadcast. We thought we could survive long enough to get the story out. But you saw David. There's something in here with us. Bet you a fiver I can deal with it. Just point me the right way. The others are busy upstairs. Can you get to the basement? If you get the servers working, we've got surveillance cameras to track whatever this thing is. Nice one. I can see how you've survived this long. I'm Esther, by the way. Though you already know that. And this is Nora. Danny, pleasure's all mine, ladies. You just sit tight, back in a tick. Servers. Let's have a lash at this then. Grand. <laughs> Always knew I was a genius. Perfect. How do I look? Oh my god. Something's happened. You need to get to the conference room right now. Go up the stairs twice, then be ready.
man, Danny. You've been in mosh pits scarier than this. Oh, shite! Esther, I was too late. It got them. Esther? Hold on, I'm on my way. There you are, you gowl. Leave them alone. Local shite hawks taken down a pig. Are they gone? I'll open up. They've had their 15 minutes of fame, yeah. You both all right there? We're fine. Fuck. Without you, we'd be dead like the others. I'll lift the shutters. We need to get our things and deal with the bodies. And then what? We can't broadcast, but we can keep investigating. I'm not missing the chance of a lifetime. Heard a lot about the military evacuation on the beach. It's time we saw it for ourselves. You're certainly in the right profession. Oh, be sure and stop by a place called the Blue Crab. Might try by again myself. Maybe see you there then. Be seeing you, ladies. Watch yourselves. You too. We can't just leave the bodies of the others up there. We'll go together. No, oh, Petal. Things not going well. Some of the guys just walked straight out of the hotel with half our food. And they tripped the fire alarm. It's gonna go off any minute. They've got the manager's pass that we need to stop it. Your leadership style is an inspiration to us all. Where the feck did they go? Something about the alley next to the bean cup. I think. 
You gotta go find them. I I'll I'll get Ava. Maybe she can fix the alarm before it broadcasts our location to every fucking zombie in LA. Try not to banjax anything else while I'm gone. Finally got some food. Deserted. Let's see what's to be found. Who else did you piss off now, Jimmy? Expecting Jimmy to be following them, not me. I'll go home for a break. their plan. No, it wasn't. It was, it was just talk. We didn't like how Rube was running things. I... Ugh, later, you dry shite. Just tell me where the nearest Burger 66 is. Up the back stairs in the plaza area. It was part of the plan. I'm getting that manager's pass. No thanks to your unbelievable fuckery. Looks like none of the food thieves made it out alive. Whose mess is this? The sparks are gonna fly.
Got it. Heading back right now. The alarm's going off! You don't say. What? I said I've got the pass. I hope you found the pass. That is loud. Ooh, a lobby full of punching bags. For me, you should know.
Could use a few more like you around here. Made it. Somehow. Jesus, Jimmy. Can you make your crisis of conscience a little tidier next time? I should have gone with him. Instead of trying to help these mooks. For the love of... No! You actually did the right thing for once, you feckin' idiot. You stuck around. And tried to be a leader and solve the problem. I should... I should go get the food. We're gonna need it. You should. But take Denise. Don't want you getting nibbled now you're threatening to become a decent human being. And you still need to keep everyone else alive, mind. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But hey, I I'm Jimmy Montana. I got this. Thanks. I know, I know, I should be quieter. You can leave now. I know what you are. I know what you are. Wind your neck in. What's going on? You need some help? Help? That's what she... You're here to steal just like her. Huh. Next thing you'll say is that I can trust you too. Me? Steal? I'd never. Who's been taking things from you? Denise! She came in when I wasn't here. Without my permission. And she stole the bag that was right underneath my bed, and, and she can't do that! That's wrong! It's a moral gray area, for sure. What's your name? Luther. Okay, Luther. I'm going to talk to Denise. Let's see if I can't get this sorted out. No, she wants that! She wants you to talk. She'll steal your teeth, and you won't even get a nickel. I'm not like her. My buddy Byron, he'll see you right. Then Byron's my type of fella. You stay put now, and stop throwing a moody. No. No, no, no! Yeah, what? I've just met a queer hawk called Luther. Ugh, no, you ran into a mess called Luther. That boy's on random shuffle. He's wrecking his gaff looking for some bag he said you stole. Seems to have set him off. Was it worth something? That bag was stinking. Ava and Ken were bitching so bad I threw it out. What? The feck's in it? I do not want to know. Couldn't get near it without gagging. I just tossed it down the trash chute. If he keeps throwing his toys out the pram, he's likely to hurt himself, or someone else. A little stench might be the least worst option. Whatever, go knock yourself out. But if he doesn't calm down, he's going down the chute too. You leaving again? Zombies are better.
Ugh. Heads up, maggot kingdom. The new queen approaches. Ugh. Smells worse than me ma's famous Rasheed. Not want to sniff? Oh, you do actually, don't you? Here's on, boys. Luther, darling, this bag had best be feckin' worth it. Jeez! Yes, yes! Here, take it, boy. You actually... you did it? This is... this is Byron. You guys... 
Met? Not I... formally. Byron's a hell of a guy, hey? You know, he's... he's always got your back. You could take on anything, you know? <laughs> Best goddamn friend I ever had. Thanks for bringing him back. It's gonna be okay now. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> Grand. Uh, that's me off then. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Your reward. Don't trouble yourself. As promised. With our heartfelt thanks. Yeah, bring it in, man. <laughs> I know what's going on. That alarm was to get me out of my room. We sitting together again now? Jamal, shift's over, boy. What are you still doing at the Hopper Inn Hotel? Jamal's crawling again. Damn zombie. Please love shopping. Hope these security guard huts have some decent bits and bobs for the taking. Uh, and Jamal, safe and sound. Of course.
Jamal. That's our fella, all right. Better check the other hut. Left in a hurry, but how far did you make it in that red pickup? In a sinkhole. Well, that can't be good. Ooh, look at Mr. Armor Man. Thinks that'll stop me, does he? man left me a gift. How sweet. All right, Key. Surprise me. What do you open? <sighs> ah, Jamal. Plans never go quite as we want them to, do they?
You look like you could use a bed and a decent meal. Pity you only got one of those here. Not a good Friday night to get locked up. I'll check the cop shop on the beach. Come on, girls. Please be okay. You looking for something to do? Always more people to be found. Speak of the devil, and the giant slayer shall appear. Glad to see you made it here safe and sound. Quiet as the proverbial. Either great news or a rampant fuck up. Time to find out if she's okay and just very hungry, or if she's very hungry.
I gave her peace. At least I gave her that. Laura, I need to call mom. Uh huh. One sec. Just gotta update my story first. Okay, peeps. Check out how, like, inhumane it is in here. Hold it steady, Em. I don't feel good. Hey! You didn't pat us down. She's got a knife! Nothing? Hey, fuckers! Don't you dare ignore me now! <coughs> Gross. But great idea. Help! She's throwing up everywhere! There's... There's what? For the last time, Hollowell! Shut your pie hole! Again, I am so. Why are you guys so calm? What the fuck, bitch? Hey. Why did you? It's going crazy. Get off me! Holy shit! Please, please, please! Come on, playing. Someone help me! Hey, good job! Pablo sounds like a lovely lad. Only a cruel bastard could see this ending badly. Protein and needles, eh? There's only one area of Venice with the best likelihood of finding both.
I could do with a lovely protein shake myself. A nice margarita, say, served with a burrito garnish. <laughs> Made it this far, Pablo. Where to next?
needles, you say. Was Pablo an agent? Not necessarily. But he sounds naive enough to try in here. Take that back, Pablo. Rose had diabetes. I knew she had spare needles. Nice one. Just go around. Sneaking past all my traps? You're a looter, man! No, 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 no! I just need some stuff from my neighbors! The Dillingers say they always come here, please! You know Charlie? Yes! They live on my block! He, he comes here for his shakes, right? <laughs> shakes? Yeah! Yeah! That's Charlie, man! Why didn't you say something? <laughs> a customer! Come on over! I'll hook Charlie up! Oh, watch your step, man! What? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wow, you sure are dug in. Guess you can't be too careful, huh? Zombies, looters. Ah, oh, sure, man. Like all us store owners look out for each other. But you gotta look out for number one first, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of people depending on me, too. Oh, hey, you have a... a my neighbor needs one of these. It for sale? For sure, man. It's a store. You got money, you can have it. This is nice, man. I miss chewing the fat with customers. Whoa! Oh, I'm really sorry, man. Forgot that trap was there. Sure knocks the wind out of you, huh? Can't be too careful, man. Zombies, looters. Whoa, deja vu. You ever get that, man? Hey, you okay there? Oh, uh, no, no, no way, man. I was only supposed to knock him down. What do I do? What do I do, man? Oh. Doc, you okay? We heard gunfire. Uh, just... Just a minute! Uh, you can't come in! The door's locked! Ugh. <sighs> 
feeling better now you have your precious gun? Doc's not here, man! Can't wait to get in some shooting practice out. See what I can really do with these. You should stay a while. Put your feet up. Relax. Well then, Greg. What you got in that car that's worth risking your life for, huh? Make it back in one piece. bit of exploding bomb never stopped me before. About you. Come back to safety with me. I can't yet. Look, I've been building up like the biggest baseball card collection in California. All the good ones are sitting in my trunk right now. Turns out this place is invested. Are you mad? I know. I'm such an idiot for leaving them there. The outbreak screwed up my priorities. If anything happens, anyway. Help? If I must. Baseball cards. Fuck me.
Yoink. You know what? I'm pretty good at this whole rescuing thing. I think I do say so myself. I'm on my way. Sounds like something I do. Oi! Zombies! Here I am. Let's do this! Whoa. What the hell is that? What? Watch out! That big one's headed right for you! <laughs> Looks like my old fella after a few gargles. shutters. I can't thank you. I had to give you something. Let me just think. Oh, my friend Merkel. He's my absolute hero. Oh, man. He's my favorite. Ah! Ah! Oh! Greg! <sighs> Jesus. At least Greg died protecting the ones he loved.
might be easier. Someone's after the little boyo. I'll see if he made his boss. I join you out there, but there's no one else I trust to keep this place secure. Why do I get the sense you're not gonna make this easy, Davis? Christ nice on a pogo stick! Urge to press buttons rising. He's on the other beach.
There they are. Just gotta sneak my way in and find Davis's face. Right then, let's have a look at this fabled boss the kid was on. Should be a pushover. Tisk tisk. Seems I misjudged you. Well, Davis, I'm saddened, but not surprised.
Take some time at the bar. Hell, you have a All right then, lost lifeguard. I'll be your knight in shining life jacket. Good luck out there. You're good. Shane's hot. What has he left for me to stumble on? Great deal, but at least now I know where to go. Nell, I presume. You had the right idea, Shane. To the lifeguard HQ.
A touch predictable, but it works. One less zombie in this feckin' hellhole, one more human safely out of it. Just between you and me, I'm sort of glad there's no boat. You can't be serious. Show their face again. You're the one person I wish.
stick around. Emma and Sam have made their grand escape. We'll be seeing it in the cinema soon, I'm sure. Oh, I'm more into books, to be honest. Strange, isn't it? How we experienced a major seismic event just as the infected started crawling out of every manhole and overrunning the city. Yeah, sure. Downright spooky. But there's been a few other things keeping my attention. I know. You're thinking, oh, we get quakes all the time. But never like these, with such localized effects. And their epicenters? Nowhere near where we'd expect them. There's more going on under the surface. I just need the data to prove it. And somehow, you think I look like a fieldwork nerd. Uh, afraid so. Some colleagues and I placed four seismometers in the sewers to gather readings as soon as we noticed. We got in through the Bel Air access tunnel not far from here. Our little field trip did not go well. I need you to collect our data. My condolences, I'm sure. But going down there was playing with fire. We soldier on. The devices you're looking for come in special locked containers. Each one has a key. Get the data from all four and bring it back to me. The sooner, the better. The more we know, the better our chances. If I'm in the neighborhood, I just might. Carlos, dear. Do you have any drinks back there? Hi, Constant. Got anything? Cataclysm. Noun. A sudden fire.
Aha. Uh -huh. Lovely. These notes should do most of the heavy lifting. Grand. These must be Luciana's friends. Must be one of these tremor devices. Enough of that. Properly murky. Not useful. Can I clear this?
I'll be having that. Thank you. be a coincidence. Ah. Oh. Right. Need the key. And revolting, but here's that key. said you could skulk around here. <laughs> Working with Luciana is hazardous to your feckin' health it is. Just one more, and I'm done.
Here's another undead nerd walking. That's my cardio for the day, anyhow. Ugh, more fool me. 
But I got your wretched data. Excellent. To be honest, I doubted your chances, but you proved me wrong. You're a significant outlier. A childhood dream come true. Hey, your whole team's dead down there. We knew what we were getting ourselves into when we chose the high-risk, high-reward world of seismology. With the data returned, the expedition was all worth it. I'm sure. Listen, you silly gowl. I felt more tremors. I reckon they might be connected to the zombies. Fascinating. Let's hope what you brought back is enough to construct a firm hypothesis. Now please, you must leave me to the data. Gladly. You go on and enjoy the fruits of my labor now. Hmm, yeah. Wait to show my colleague. I'm sure there'll be someone out there who's interested. You look like you could use a bed. You're the one who goes out all over the city, right? Goes all over the city, kills all kinds of zombs, gets into all sorts of trouble. That would be me. Got a tip for you. I heard there's some kind of military stash down in the metro. Is that right? And where'd you hear that? From a friend. He ran with this gang, had a hideout down there, like the disused part where all the busted train cars end up. You might find something good. I see. What's this friend's name, in case I bump into him? Diego. Military stashes of all the good stuff. Thanks. Wish me luck finding it. Diego, or both. Rosa said the gang hung out by some old train cars.
train cars. Right, now where's the loot? Laptop. That's promising. Ugh, give me strength. So slow. At least killing zombies kills time. <laughs> Oh. 
It's an art project. Ah, wait. There's Diego's name. And some directions. I'm on the right track. No, nothing.
Feckle. So it was a street art crew. Then someone has a conniption, blood is spilled, and Diego gets caught up in it all. Sorry, be young artists. I'll make this quick. Good stuff hidden. Damn right. Oh yes, this will do. Hmm, a stencil of Diego's. Oh sure, and Rosa would like to have that when I see her next.
you hear that? It's the sound of my book back lodge ring. Hey, welcome back. Guess you haven't escaped yet. I've had a little rejig of my priorities, so... Yo, craziest thing. I was cleaning up the parking lot and some gunk got all caught up on my broom, tried to smack it off and boy, it goes bouncing over the wall. You have no idea. That shite inside the weirder zombies is literally mind-blowing. Oh, but that's the stuff that turns him. Oh, I knew it, man. It's not a virus. It's like GM food. Cloning chicken, antibiotic beef. It's all brewing inside them. Who cares what it is? I just know I can use all of it I could get. Takes me weapons up to the next feckin' level. I think I know where you can get the good stuff, yeah. The most messed up zombie, that's where. You gotta check the strongest man comp. Those roid-soaked douchebags will be gunk mines. Deadly. Yeah. And like the sewer outfall? There's been toxic waste in there for years. I mean, there's gotta be bad turkeys cooking in that oven. You've convinced me. So if you'll excuse me, darling, I'm off to go have a gander. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see I'm right. GM Foods, man. Trent. You burn all those zombie parts like I asked you to? There's no making bacon without wading through pig shit at some point.
chaps. It's turkey hunting season. Oh, shite! is the rankest, slimiest mock I've ever seen. Quality. Oh, you want some as well? I'll have you in tatters. You roided up slabs. Who wants to skate against the baddest bitch on the beach? as two short planks, but not quite as tough.
like tripe, smells like shite. It's like a feckin' wrecking ball. Successful shopping trip. I should go back and give Surfer Boy a little fashion show. How's the form? I'm as pleased as a perv at a peep show. Boy, found some real prizes, right where you said they'd be. Yeah? I knew it all along. You gotta stay natural. No GM food for me. I stay mostly vegan. Mostly vegan? Eh, everyone has their limits. Well, workbench is there if you need it. Just make sure you don't leave a mess. Kai will flip if someone leaves zombie lungs lying around again. As most reasonable people would. Yeah, uh, don't be that guy. All right, dudes, if we want to start using zombie guts to make some sick weapons, we gotta start tearing. Oh, no, you don't. This is still a red. was a bust? Tell me you've got a plan B. I... You ever make a bucket list? Why? You looking for a spot on it? Hmm. I... Damn it. I gotta ask a favor, and I hate asking favors. Go on. Don't be shy now. So when we wised up, a lot of us wrote last letters home, even though we couldn't send them. Y you'd find them when clearing out dead lockers. Hundreds by the end. They all went in the burn bag, but I scanned them out on a memory stick first and slipped it to a gunny who was shipping out. But his ride got swarmed. All those final words just lying out there. Digital? Not all that personal, is it? There's no bodies going home. Those letters are everything. So why haven't you gone and gotten them back? I can't jeopardize my mission. I got no illusions about surviving. I just want to know those letters got home. Shalok, you'll owe me for this, darling. Fucking A. There's comms gear in the base. You can upload them there. Comms gear, huh? Class. I'll be back before you've time to miss me. You're honoring hundreds of brave soldiers. I feel so... fucking proud. I'll be rooting for you. Still got plenty of gear going on. Head east and you'll find the convoy. You should find a base key card there too.
This is what's left of the convoy. Right. Where have you Egypt's hidden that USC? Sound. Where's the feckin' key? Watch it. Hostiles to your north. the shower savages. That'll do us.
speaker voice. I'm in. Comms dish. There you are. Just need to insert the memory stick in here. Warning. This is an architectural transmission. Alarm will sound. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> Are you there? Copy. Afraid the signal's being jammed. Impossible. That's going straight up to a dedicated satellite. Well, that's what the computer says. Finest gear in the world, my ass. Okay, get back here. Out. Well, we gave it a lash. You need a no luck. Your Operation Mail Call needs a plan B. I watched you out there. Never seen anything like it. You're getting out of LA, right? One way or another. Then keep the letters. Maybe take one more, too? I appreciate the confidence. Hope I won't need to deliver that one. Then that's it. I'm primed. Nothing gonna stop me now. 
Don't you go breaking my heart by doing something stupid now. The plague cannot leave L.A., and these walls won't hold the dead in much longer. When they breach, you'd better be a long way away. Do I want to know what that's supposed to mean? All will become clear. <laughs> like glass. Now get gone. Finally feeling like all those loose ends are getting tied off. Right. It's your girl, Amanda Styles. Swear to you, this is the last time, but I've got a killer idea and you're the only one I can trust to do this right. I know, I know. Stay indoors where it's safe. I promise, once we're done, you can wrap me up, slap a bow over my mouth and say, don't open till Xmas. <laughs> but at least come hear me out. And don't wait up. We only get one shot at this. Come meet me behind the bleachers on Hollywood Boulevard. Smiley face. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bollocks if you think I'm playing along. Enough's enough! Wait, wait, hear me out. Sure, I've been edgy and dangerous in the past, but I swear this is safe. There's all these cameras set up for the awards, right? If we get those online, we get live footage of the whole street, hands-free. You're talking about a remote feat. Might be useful, but you'd best not need any more rescuing. That means you're cool with it, right? Then let's fucking go! Oh, but I still need to actually turn the cameras on first. Guess I have to endanger myself just one last time, huh? Dial down the dramatics, you silly Bjor. I'll handle it. Knew I could count on you. I'll stick up here. Got some final boring technical stuff to set up before I launch this reality show. TGYL. We are so doing this! You gotta come out here to the street. Found two big names you just have to meet. Jesus, I can't believe it. Do you have a death wish? <laughs> you mad? Only way we're getting off the street now is to get over here and fight our way out. Oh, when I get my hands on her.
reality. People are dead and more will die if we don't break the internet with brutal celebrity slaughter. Fair play. But if we stay here, we'll be the ones feckin' dying, you gormless girl. It's way more dangerous over here on the Romero stage. What is she talking about? Turning. I'm immune to bites. Like, yeah, duh. I have literal videos of you shrugging off bites. No shit, you're immune. Congrats, BT Dubs. Then what's your plan? You have no idea how far I'll go. Especially with survivors inside the Hollywood Mall there. Hashtag can't hint. Amanda, leave whoever's in there out of this. Wow, he really thinks so little of me, don't ya? Oh. Well... This is it. No turning back. Let's become the faces of this outbreak together. Not because they're zombies, but... Oh! Just kill them already! <laughs> One step ahead.
I'll get this out there for you somehow, you silly brave girl. Your work won't go to waste. You guys know how I hate these serious vlogs. But this one isn't some phony apology. This is real. This is a bite. Right now in LA, there is an outbreak of zombies. No joke. As I was attempting to get footage to show you, one got me. I already feel like crud, so I've decided for this video, I'm going to show you what comes next. Share this vid everywhere. When the algorithm tries to sweep this under the rug, don't let it. Watch me turn into one of them. I've got no apologies to make, except that I'm sorry that I won't get to see your reaction to this. That's right, Armada. Let's go out big. Save the Fs in chat for later. You've got a job to do. Make me famous. I just need to leave a message for a friend first. Hope they come in time, or today's video's gonna get grim. Oh. And Mom, maybe don't watch this one, okay? Love you. So much. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Hey, bestie! It's your girl, Amanda Stiles. Swear to you, this is the last time. Sebastian? Huh? Oh, it's... Ahoy, Ensign! Made it safely off Starship Monarch, have we? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, body snatchers didn't make things easy, but we're here, and I'm happy to see you. Are you here to aid Captain Vixen in reclaiming Planet Hollywood? <laughs> Jeez, sorry, that was lame. Nothing wrong with making yourself laugh, boy. Now, where's your captain keeping herself? She ordered me to stay here and guard the post while she did something at the Chinese theater. Alone. I'm just... It's like I'm just useless. Do you think she trusts me? I mean, I'm wearing frickin' cardboard armor. And darling, you're making it work. Fashion! Now, you have your orders. Stand guard. I'll make sure she's alright. Thanks. I'm sorry I can't be more help. I have to warn you, Todd. This place isn't what it seems. small world. What the hell are you doing out here? Sebastian has the same question for you. I think he's feeling ever so slightly abandoned for being dead weight. Oh, Sebastian. He's already doing more than enough. In fact, he gave me this idea. I didn't want to put him in danger again, though I admit I could use an extra pair of hands right now. Well, my manicure's been ruined for days, so I might as well. 
Monarch Studios was shipping marketing gear for the awards via the Metro, including a logo filter meant for one of these big spotlights. As far as I can tell, it got to the station, but no one collected it. Missing the spotlight that much? How will this stop a zomb? It's not about stopping them, it's about gathering survivors. Maybe even some of my Space Fox castmates. Strength in numbers. Now be careful. There's rumors of zombies down there, if you can believe it. Captain Vixen's intelligence was good. There are indeed zombies here. Here's the filter for the spotlight.
It's lit, fam. That's what she meant about her castmates. A Space Fox logo to catch the eye. Sebastian's fanboying gave me the idea. In this one episode, the crew is stranded, and Vixen rigs up a signal out of some scrap. Hopefully, any other survivors nearby will have a beacon to follow. And you'll be den mother to them all. Is that the plan? Going solo would make some things easier, but others harder. And staying on the run creates its own problems. Besides, here, now, feels like a Captain Vixen is needed. Especially for people like Sebastian. He finds it hard to be alone. I gotta finish up, but, uh, let him know I'll be back soon. I've worried him enough. Aye, aye, Captain Vixen. Where's Miss Shepard? Is she okay? She's grand. She's putting the finishing touches on your idea for a Space Fox beacon now. Huh? My idea? What? She'll bend your ear about it when she gets back. But I can tell you now, she's glad to be able to count on her teammates. She is the coolest, and so are you. Oh, you gotta take something as thanks for all the help. And may the star of Volpine forever guide us. And a very merry abracadabra to you too, darling. the ball? How do you know about Eschaton? Oh, I don't really. I just walked in at did my 9 to 5, went home to the one. Then after the outbreak. Hmm, you look like someone well-versed in matters of the grotesque. First of all, rude. Well, I can see that you're begging to ask, so I'll tell you, yes. I am an artiste, a sculptor, of perceptions, of minds, of reality itself. Francesca. I'm Danny, and I can't feckin' stand pretentiousness. Since the dawn of humankind, art has challenged us and elevated us. Now more than ever, it is art that will save us from our moral decay. You want to help save people, don't you? Only the ones worth saving, petal. Then go out and collect me infected flesh. You can rip it straight from any of those mindless conformists wandering around. Or 
Or perhaps you already have some to donate. When you've got enough, put it in that bucket there. And you'll be doing what now? With a bucket full of rank zombie guts? Oh, <laughs> how can you be so obtuse? I'm creating my magnum opus, my masterwork. I am Michelangelo, and you must bring me the finest vein marble. Now go! Oh, why not? Yes, master. Thank you, master. Yes. My medium is death. For how else should we understand life? <gasps> Finally, the process can begin. The sublime pain and sacred pleasure of new creative birth. Grand. I'll just get out of your hair then. My god, we've barely begun. I need rarer, more exquisite parts. I've been listening to the inane chatter on the radio. I've heard of marvelous and monstrous beasts around the city. I must mold their fantastical corruption. No, you mustn't. Mark this. My artistic flow is paramount. I'll place my requests on the board up there. When you bring the matter, do not interrupt me. Just drop it in the bucket. And will you offer a fair exchange at any point? Or are you determined to be an utter gobshite? We can trade for my aesthetic leftovers. But as I pass you the dregs of my creativity, consider what residue of your own will you discard. Don't answer. Just let that stew for a while. Zombie parts! Do you have them? Go out and bring me something fabulous from those monstrosities. Oh, an artist dreams of such materials. Oh. Really fine addition. Yes. Yes. I will create such a monument.
day. You must leave. I need total focus. <coughs> Oh, Jesus. What you up to now? Skinning someone's pet? Well? How does it make you feel? Like you have ruined horses for me. Ruined? Horses? Yes. Facing the truth of our own grotesque reality is a miraculous experience. But see, you are free. You are absolved. God, I wish I were you. Everything before today was the looking glass, but now you're finally in Wonderland. Immerse yourself, Alice. Let it enter every part of you. Just look at how the twilight glances across the delicate, glistening curves.
stuff. Can't be easy out there. Another walking corpse in need of laying to rest? Or you're long gone already, no doubt. Ah, feck it. One more. Good luck. Out there. You're gonna need it. Better look around, see what I can find. None of these notes are from our boy. This Egypt was painting sets while the rest of the city ran for their lives. He... Wait. Why was the director painting sets? These aren't props. Hygiene is important, but not to zombies. I think he's been here. Someone's hydrating. And you know what they say. A hydrated person is a living person. Famous proverb. All right, how do I get this thing more? Oh, just like that. Live notes. Love it. Places, people, places. Let's make this count while we still got the use of Mr. Montana's trailer. One last run through of Act Three, and. I see you, Harry. That's not your mark, is it now? And Jessica, really? Stop making it just out. This is that Harry Mitchell. Oh, Alice, be a god. I'd keep going, would you? Fine. Get Okay. And action. Oh, Freddy. Your sensual musk is almost too much to bear. No, no, no! Harry, we've been over it! After Jessica says her line, you lean in for the big kiss! Whoa, whoa, whoa there! Jessica! Kiss Jessica, not Steve! Did you forget to lock the door, Alice? I told you! Fuck! Excuse me, filming and process. Captain Crowley. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's funny to you guys. I think we're a team. Cut, cut, cut! Fuck! I hope you like the smell of raw matches, Jimmy, because these. 
peepers are going to be crashing at your place for a couple of nights. You idiots are nuts if you think you're going to get a paycheck. Oh, no, don't stop there. Please, just when it was starting to get good. You dare be dead, Stevie. <sighs> Sergio? That was the fella that put up the missing person poster. Sorry about your mate. Not even here. Yeah, I suppose I'd better swan my way up to the hills.
that really the entrance you're going with? I was expecting something a little more dramatic. After all that suspenseful radio silence. Wait, who are you? You're not Sergio. You're feckin' right I'm not. And don't wait up for him. He went full zomb after that stunt you pulled back at the soundstage. What were you thinking? Sergio got bitten? <sighs> that lousy hack's always finding new ways to spoil my work. Still, the show must go on. As long as I can find a cast, I got a production. You nearly got your arse munched by your last cast. Time to call it a wrap, don't you think? <laughs> the living are impossible to direct. This time will be different. This time, the dead will be my stars, and with their heads removed from their incompetent bodies, their performances will be completely in my hands. Jesus, another complete Lula. And I suppose you'll be wanting these heads delivered to you, bike courier style. Absolutely not. What, do they think they're too good to audition just because they're dead? Huh. Get them here alive so I can see if they've got what it takes and we'll go from there. Right. I'll do this for you, but on one condition. There's some people down the streets, nice folk. If I bring you your cast, you need to give me your word you'll get yourself to them. Deal? An audience? How can I resist? Yeah, you got it. Fine. I'm off to recruit your... Wait. Will any zombies do? You are not getting callbacks. Any zombies? No. I have specific characters in mind. I need a hunk with explosive star power. A hero in uniform and a vicious blood-sucking villain. Got that? I'm counting on you. Who wants to be a star? You do? All right, come on then, you ugly mug. You think you're getting the part with those moves? Step it up. for this year's hottest heartthrob. Go on, chase the shiny golden dream. That's it.
You, right there. I see a star in the making. Lose some weight, say, your whole body, and you've got yourself a movie deal, kid. Make way for this year's hottest heartthrob. My decision to blacklist the living was a little hasty. You would make a fabulous lead. More into slamming and jamming than faking smiles and memorizing lines, darling. Now, about getting you to rock your audience. I'll get there, don't worry. It's just a short jog down the hill, right? That's it. I suggest you cause a distraction, then bolt down that hill as fast as you can. Don't look back, and do not take those heads with you, all right? They'll only slow you down. But, fine, fine. No ensemble cast, I mean, no heads. Just, just me. Deadly. See you shortly, yeah? Oh, before I love you and leave you, this little thank you token for getting my movie back on track is from the first film I ever directed. I'm in condition. We only used it once. <laughs> Had to replace it after there was an accident on set. <laughs> Take some time at the bar. Hell, you haven't earned it. No one has. Jesus! Back to that hellhole! Ugh. Then again, how bad could it be?
Could you thin out the zombies on your... Miss me? Because I haven't missed you, you creepy feckin' pile of rebar. <laughs> I suppose it would be easier to kill you all before searching the place. Looks like our Rainier made a friend. Helped him escape, at least to the Metro. Maybe there'll be something there.
Traveler. I can report Captain Vixen has returned safely from her mission, which has been a resounding success. I think that... See that, Sebastian. <laughs> and now they've heard it too. So, Miss Shepard, what's our next plan of action? Rainiers of Newman? Yes. To show... Uh, I need to share all... No! Whoa, calm yourself now. I think you're like me. I'm also changed. I can help. Okay. Okay, I trust you. The key. The traitor locked me to... To stop me. I was bitten, but we're different. Chosen. The traitor? He's... Oh, he is the custodian, hid in his room. He has the key. Okay, I'm on it. You just stay put. I'll get you that key. Better check out the platforms. Seems this custodian went there. Thief. 
You know what kind of sentence stealing a key comes with these days? I guess I'll have to show you. Just have to get him out. He'll be okay. Christ, Donna. My gift! Oh, but he... Was this a trick? So this is what happens when you fail the test. And don't go fully Newman. This could have been me.
should stay a while. Put your feet up. Relax. An invitation to blow out some brains? For me? How thoughtful. Don't mind if I do. They can't just leave us to die here. Enjoy the fresh air out there. Might be the last time you. Oh, Nadia, you spoil me. I didn't know we were going on a treasure hunt. Phew, am I getting hotter because it's me and I usually am? Or just because I'm getting closer? Here, ah, first one down. Three to go. Getting close. I can feel it in me leopard print. Didn't think you'd get away, did ya? Those numbers should be right about... One more, and the whole code's in the bag. Time to bust this thing down. Wonder if she went through with it. Nadia, you have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes, and then I'm coming to get you! That's how it's done.
organized and considerate death. Pleasure doing business with yous. Idea. Take your screaming ones like. Dash of cash, eh? Mine is not to reason why.
Joe's a gearhead. If he's constantly tinkering on his car, he'll have smashed the cash under the truck seat where his arms could keep it warm. <laughs> Face it, you were never gonna. S Joe spills the beans after all. Is it possible I spoke too soon? Premature insultulation. They say it happens to everyone. Look at all this. Joe, I apologize. You were a fine fella who did right by me. And I shouldn't have called you a wank sock. The military had a card up their sleeve, but whatever it was, they never got the chance to use it.
some balloons. Clue at best. Another shipping container, eh? Egghead, 
working on our secret weapon for the Corpse War. Let's get a closer look. Are you insane, Delgado? Turn it off. This is a restricted area. <laughs> no punching, Private. I'm just testing my equipment. Look, audio only. That's no better. And I'm no egghead. Two for flinching. Okay, okay. Look, a shipment came in. Package for you. Finally. We're starting to think the morons back home actually want this to blow up in our face. So, this is it, huh? Yeah. Will it, uh, you know, be enough? You guys do your job, and we'll never have to find out. Yeah, I know. Go babysit Greenhouse Dog and leave the puppets to everyone else. But for three more days, I gotta keep delivering parts. If I do, we're in a plant. Let me look. One, one false 58. step, and I'll have frizzy clown hair oh. for a feckin' He trusted you with the priority asset? <laughs> Heard it'll help mess up zombies. So, what's in here? It's need to know, and all you need to know is what priority means. You used to be fun. Ugh. Drop it by 66, near the body disposal pits. Thanks. Just handle it with care. How about one hint? Is it a box of acid? Massive. Knife wielding school. This is a step up. A I've gone from Zebra. waving pea shooters out. about to special feckin' forces in a single feckin' week. Be careful out there. Ha! Rodriguez, when am I ever not? You really want an answer to that? So, Soldier Girl is involved in some sort of super weapon shenanigans. Is that why she's still in L.A.?
A legendary knight, and you didn't invite me. I'm deeply hurt. And once I find you, you will also hurt. Because like me, my feelings are feckin' delicate. I think that explains means why your ears were hurting you, Gak.
Got the munchies, huh? I know how that goes. Ezekiel, what did it say? Where did she go? Ah. Uh, it says she's not coming back. Or she can. She's gonna try and get her video out to see. Nothing worse than a useless designated driver. Too many flaming zombies, eh? I've been there.
Well, well. Cheers to you, boys. Glad you got too sloshed to make it back here. Uh.